Hi, it's Anne here, and today's video is my second update for my Bite the Bullet project for 2024. So this is basically like the lip service project. Um, I decided not to do the lip service project because I didn't really want to do a panning project. I just wanted to work through my lipstick collection, kind of like Cat's Apocalypse uh, series, but like smaller. So it's not really an apocalypse because I'm just focusing on like bullet style or like lipstick style products so I'm not really looking at like my lip glosses uh, my liquid lipsticks none of that stuff just basically things that are kind of like this um, or like adjacent to that so I worked out in my collection that it would take me I'd have about four to five per month to get through my whole collection I've, I've missed an update um, I've added lip products so we're gonna be a little behind we probably won't finish this project the end of this calendar year if we do great like if I can squish in a few awesome if we don't it's fine too um, I have not been weighing these items I have not been marking usage I've just been playing with them and like gathering thoughts about them and the goal for me is to try and eliminate one of the four um, or put one on the chopping block so that by the end of the year I can maybe eliminate that. If I can eliminate it, awesome. If I eliminate more than one, that's awesome. Because um, I am trying to like whittle down my bullet lipstick collection um, to colors and shades that I, I want to wear and, and products that I want to wear. Um, but I love lip products and I love to play with them so it is really hard for me to limit them so yeah if i can knock one out of four um entirely or put at least one on a chopping block that is the goal for each month so i'm kind of doing this retrospectively i'm not introducing like each month what i'm picking for the next month I, i'm just picking stuff kind of at random a little bit and then coming to you guys after i've been playing with these items and explaining what i picked why i picked what i think all that kind of stuff i am trying to balance it between like color and uh like nudes or like trying to do a bit of strategy on what i'm picking um again trying to pick stuff that's sort of seasonally appropriate so i feel better about using it instead of it being like a random like russian roulette kind of thing so we're gonna start off with the lippy stick. So again, this isn't quite a bullet lipstick. <laughs> That's my foster right there. He's just yawning. Um, this is a not really a bullet lipstick, but it's kind of a bullet lipstick, so that's why we're including it. This is in the shade Parker. This is actually newish to me, but it is like a classic shade. I'm gonna I'm gonna sketch over so I can put like video video on this side of what these look like on and I'm doing like hand swatches as well. So yeah, this is like a, a very popular OG shade from ColourPop. I get it. It leans on the very edge of nudes for me. I do have some nudes that are neuter than this, but this is a nude that I'm comfortable with like at any time, like throwing it on. I think I've even had it on a couple of videos this past month because it's a very neutral type color for me. It goes with a lot of different looks. It is a matte, I think. I think they describe it as a matte. Yeah, it is matte, but it's not matte matte it's just not shiny if that makes sense and it's maybe i would say an edge lower than a satin like it doesn't have a satin finish but it's definitely not a true matte matte um it's just not like there's no real shine to it so yeah i've really enjoyed using this one it was one that i you know kind of grabbed quite a bit i would say out of all the products it's the one i use the most these items though like they could still right at the top of the container there's so much product in these i'm afraid to turn it up because i don't want to like ruin it but like that's that's not even all the way up like there's a lot of product in these and like I have yet to I think I've finished one lippy stick and that was in a project pan and it took like a lot of effort to do that um so yeah I'm, I'm definitely keeping that one the next item I picked is because when I was looking at the um what to pick when I swatched these two I was like oh they're kind of similar so let's see what they're like like against each other because they're similar but different this is the lady bold lipstick in I'm thriving um <sighs> So, to be frank, I am mostly keeping this because this is like, to me, kind of a luxury item. So, it's got like the magnetic closure. If I was being ruthless, I would declutter this because I feel like it's similar enough to Parker that I could declutter it. Um, but because it's kind of expensive and because it's different um, and I do I do kind of like using it because it feels fancy um, and again it's kind of a bit of a sunk fallacy with this one I don't want to give it up because because of that I like the color of this I like the way it applies applies I think I like the packaging I love everything about it my one con with this product is it's pretty thick 
and it can get kind of funny. So sometimes when I put it on, it can get like, I don't know how to explain it, but PC on my lip. So I can see like my lip color showing through, which ends up being like, it's a different tone. So it looks weird. Um, so I kind of have to like, if I put it on, sometimes I have to use my finger to like massage it in a little bit because it will get too thick and like clumped together in, in a weird way. It's hard to explain. So it is a very thick lipstick. Like if you are not a bullet lipstick person, if you are not like a traditional lipstick person, you will not like this. It is also a matte style lipstick. So again, kind of like the Parker, it's not matte matte, but it's definitely more on a matte side. I don't know if that's what it's advertised as, but it does have more of a matte. Um, excuse me, sir. <laughs> Hold on a minute. <laughs> Somebody has absconded with some of my laundry. So he does a funny thing when he's feeling restless and he wants my attention. He like absconds with things and he just, he just drags them into his bed. So like there's a couple shirts that he goes towards and I just bought a new pair of shoes, new Vans. And for some reason the Vans, he keeps grabbing those shoes and just picking them up and putting them in his bed. And I'm like, what are you doing, buddy? What are you doing, buddy? So yeah, I was just talking about this guy. Again, <laughs> I probably would have gotten rid of this if it wasn't a pricey item. Um, again, due to its similarity to other products, and I do like Parker, I think a little bit more than this. But at the same time, I, I do really like this. I just get a little frustrated with that sort of thickness factor where it will kind of come across a little funny. Next up is the NYX uh, pinup pouch. So fun fact about this was I wasn't supposed to have this. Um, I bought this to put in a giveaway, but then I think I bought too many things, too many lip products. So then I ended up pulling this out and I was like, I'll put it in another giveaway. And then I didn't have a giveaway for a while. And this sat around and I'm like, it's kind of sitting around for too long. I don't want to like give it to somebody. So I'll just keep it. So I never intended to have this, but I have it now. The thing about this one, this one is my, this is my chopping block item. Um, and the reason is, is it's kind of that cool tone pink that, well, mauve or mauve, however you want to say it, that I just don't love on me. It doesn't look bad, but it reminds me of the Too Faced, remember the Too Faced liquid lipsticks in Queen Bee? I had a, like a small version of those and like everybody loved that. I thought it looked great on people when I saw it in videos and then I put it on myself and I'm like, it almost leans this weird purpley pinky gray. So it is what I do have on. I was trying to like play with it with other stuff. So I'm wearing it with this. I do like it a little bit with like other things. So this made it a little bit more purpley, which I kind of liked, but this was that lipstick. And I've talked about this in some other videos where it was like, I do my face, get everything ready. And I'm like, I'm, you know, wearing maybe a more of a cool tone look like my eyeshadow is pretty cool tone. So let's go with more of a cool tone lipstick. And I put this on and I'm like, no, that, that doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. It's kind of ruined the look. I don't like it. Um, so like, it's not bad, but I just, I don't know. I just haven't enjoyed wearing this. And I was like, well, maybe it's like seasonality because it's kind of a bit of a brighter pink um, on its own. But it's like, if any time of the year I would wear this, it would be springtime. Like spring, bright pink. Well, it's not bright pink, but it's definitely more like a, it is a bit of a brightish pink. It's not super bright. Like you wouldn't think, you would think like looking at this, it's not bright, but somehow on me, it pulls really bright. So it's just, it's, it's chopping block. I'm not, I'm not hundred percent convinced I want to get rid of it yet. Um, and this is going to go back to me. Like it's a unique shade. There are times where I'm like, okay, I liked it. Like it worked. It worked with the look I was going for. I didn't hate it. Um, but I just don't know if I see myself wearing this enough to justify keeping it. Like as much as I struggle with this one, I still, I've put this on a lot. I just like fight with it, but I, I like the color and I do like it. Um, this it was more like I'd put it on and I'd just take it off again. I'm like, no, that didn't work. So that's, that's the chopping block. I'm just not fully committed to decluttering it yet. I, I, I can't, I'm not ready. I'm not ready on that one. Maybe by the end of the year and we'll see what's kind of left over. But yeah, not ready. And then the last item, this was kind of maybe, maybe, but this one's one that I always want to maybe, uh, I shouldn't say maybe, this is one I want to pan. So this is, I don't remember the line. I think there was like the L'Oreal Riche something or other. It was color, color Riche. Um, hoping these were going to be a dupe for the Revlon. It's not a dupe. Some people were saying them when these were popular. I don't know if you can get these anymore. I ended up, of course, buying this ridiculously bright pink shade because it was the one on sale. <laughs> And it's like, just because I wanted to try the formula, I wanted to try it. A lot of people were raving about it at the time. And 
yeah, I've talked about this, or I'm just like, the lid is so dirty on this. Why is it like that? I made such a mess. This one is like, it is pretty bright pink. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little in your face. It's maybe more of a summer pink, maybe a little too much for spring. I did end up, like, I would wear it, but then I would sort of blot it down a little bit because it was a little too much if I, like, really went over with it. But it is, it feels nice on. I do like the shine of it. Um, I can mix it with, like, a, another lip liner. So, like, this, like, a deeper lip liner, and it kind of pulls it down a little. Um, and like I said, it's something that I feel like I could pan. So I do, I do want to try putting this in a project to see you know, I maybe not finish it, but get some progress on this. So this might show up again. If this doesn't get finished, or not finished, if this doesn't get into a panning project by next year, then I've got to let it go because I think, I think it's time. <laughs> I think it's like, you know, it's had, it's had many opportunities and it's like, you know, how many chances are you going to give it? But I do like it. I wish I had have bought this in a shade that would have been a bit more suited to me, like not this bright color, because if it had been a color that I liked a bit more, I probably would have flown through it for sure. So, so those were my four picks. I will put up a picture of the four shades side by side, particularly so you can see Parker and Lady, the Lady Bold lipstick in I'm Thriving side by side. So it's like, if you have one, you don't need the other, in my opinion. Um, especially like if you have the ColourPop one, it's way, way more affordable than the uh, Too Faced one. Although I, the Too Faced one shows up at Winners and Marshalls and I got it, I think that's where, no, I bought it. I actually did buy this like full price, I think can't remember now um but I've also seen it at the what do you call it the cosmetic store as well so you can always buy this one on sale like don't pay full price for that guy if you're looking at that lipstick um there are some other shades in that line and I'm kind of like man I kind of wish I tried a few other shades but that was my favorite shade um out of everything that I looked at for those so I'm glad I have it but I'm not sure again knowing the formula now I'm not sure I would buy another lipstick in that series now that I've really gotten to know the formula now that I've really played with it and really see how it works for me um but yeah so so that's my little update for my bite the bullet project again kind of behind on things but hopefully we've you know got back on track I've already picked my next picks I've already started playing with my next picks um so I need to just figure out the timing of this video I think I'm going to try and post it on the 15th because I have burners and cream on the 10th this goes on the 15th and then deck of panning on the 20th at least i've got a good range there that's not too stressful for me again trying to figure out balance of what i can do right now in terms of filming uh, i'm trying to get back into it because i do miss it but it's a bit of a challenge and there's going to be a couple things coming up <laughs> soon that's going to make it hard again but we're going to try we're going to do our best yeah anyway again starting to tangent so when that happens when i start rambling that means it's time to wrap up the video. So if you like this video, feel free to give a little thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel here in Toronto, Canada. I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you sometime soon. Bye.